Likely all seen it happen on the roadway. Road rage. Tonight, a woman's in the hospital and a man's in jail after tempers flared. Shots were fired following a co confrontation in Putnam County. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny explains ways to protect yourself should you encounter an enraged driver. Just one day after 56-year-old Keith Shalas was arrested in connection to a Putnam County road rage incident earlier this week that led to a woman being shot, I went on patrol with Master Sergeant Nick Vieira of the Putnam County Sheriff's Office to discuss ways people can de-escalate heated encounters on the roadway. He says if another driver is purposely tailgating you, look for a safe place to pull off the road to allow that other driver to move on. A well-populated gas station um, is, is, is somewhere you need to be looking for to go. But if it's obvious that there's a, there's a road rage incident, then immediately, you know, uh, 911 and, and, and get on the phone with law enforcement. Vieira says all modern cell phones are equipped with a speakerphone and Bluetooth capability. This allows you to drive safely without holding the phone. While on the line with 911 dispatch, give them a description of the other vehicle and the driver if possible. You will also want to describe the vehicle you're driving. And I take it your location, giving them updates in your location is also pretty key. Absolutely, yes. Um, best, best thing that you could go by is if you, if you think TLC, tag, location, car, right? So a tag number if you have it, um, location is, is obviously imperative at number two, and then the description of the car at number three. Well, what are your options if you are legally allowed to own and carry a firearm and the other driver is also armed but so enraged that he or she is putting your life in imminent danger? You, you know, if there's an imminent threat to, to the safety of your well-being, um, you absolutely have a legal legal grounds to, to you know, to defend yourself. Um, but of course, you know, the, the best case scenario in anything would be to change direction. Um, you know, even pause your route, like I said, for, for that brief moment, maybe pulling into that well-populated gas station uh, deters somebody and, you know, and you give it five minutes and then continue where you were going. Law enforcement says you should never get out of your car to confront the other driver because you never know what his or her intentions are, and that person may not know your intentions. Investigators say the woman who was shot by Shalas got out of her car and walked to his car when he fired multiple rounds at her. Now, also, law enforcement says that if it's obvious the driver in the other car is mad at you for something that happened on the roadway and the two of you just happen to end up side by side with each other uh, at a red light, the worst thing you can do is roll down your window and stare at that driver or even uh, st even start a, a conversation with that driver that could uh, lead to further escalation. Instead, they suggest that you make sure that your window is rolled up. Do not maintain any eye contact with that driver when the light turns green. Green, you simply go on your married way and uh, crisis averted. Eric Avenier, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Eric.